In this video, we're going to take a look at smart links with inside of Fluent CRM. Smart links are a concept that work with a lot of different types of CRMs. Basically, what it does is allow you to gather information when somebody who is one of your contacts clicks a link, either inside of an email or maybe in one of your articles on your website. The idea is that you identify a place where someone may go to and you offer it up to them to click a link. When they do so, you can add them to a list, remove them from a list. You can add them to a tag or remove them from a tag. And then based upon that information, you can either build profile information inside of the contact or also add them to an automation that takes further steps. It's a very powerful tool. It's very simple and easy to use. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Hi, my name is William Beam with Suburbia Press, and I am a small business person just like you. Our purpose here is to try and help you understand the technology that can further your business and make it easier for you to implement. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at Smart Links inside of Fluent CRM. In order to get to Smart Links, you'll come over to your menu and go to Settings under Fluent CRM. And then right here, kind of in the middle, you'll see your Smart Link. If you want to know more about what smart links are, there is an article you can get to under the help. If you look at help and settings, it will take you to this article and you can see the section on smart links and it says smart links allow you to tag and segment your subscribers when they click a link in an email on your site or anywhere, not quite anywhere. There is a restriction. If you put a smart link inside of the footer of your email, apparently they don't work. I don't know why, but that's been confirmed by some folks at Fluent CRM. So you can build your own footer. You can put it inside of your email. You can put it inside of a blog article, but for some reason, smart links do not work directly in your footer. So in order to build a smart link, you need a couple of things. You need to create something and you need to have a destination for them to go to. So let's say that we went to our homepage. In this case, it's demo.suburbiapress.com. There's nothing there really. It's just where I play around and make these little videos. So I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, Click the button, add new smart link. And you give it a title and I'll just say demo. And then you want to give it the path to the URL that they're going to go to. So we'll go ahead and put this in there. Now you can see you can add or remove tags. You can add or apply lists or you can remove lists. So let's come over here. I'm just going to say test tag. And if I wanted to do a list, I've got test list. And then of course you can put some notes down here. Very simple, very easy. Once you create this smart link, it's going to give you a URL. So instead of sending somebody to demo.suburbiapress.com, you want to copy this and then put that someplace useful. So let's go ahead and say that we've taken this and it shows you right here. Here is the smart URL. This is the one that's going to track. And then this is demo.suburbiapress. So let me first come up here to contacts because I've got a specific contact I want to use. And I want to make sure that we see this from our support site. And I don't know if he already has, all right, so no lists, no tags. So here's what I want to do. I want to send an email and all I'm going to do is right in and I'm going to highlight all of that. I'll click the URL button. We'll go ahead and click this. I always like to open a new tab and that's it. So we're going to send this to my support email address and then we're just going to make sure that we get the tag and the list once I click that link inside of the email. All done. I'm going to say send email. Okay, give me a moment. I'll open up that email. All right, so this is the email I've sent. All I've got in is click this. And you can see down here, this is the footer that I was talking about. Um, and I've got a test here for smart link. It does nothing. So I click on this one and I open up the page. So that takes us where we want to go. And as far as your subscriber, your contact is concerned, all you're doing is giving them a link to a page, hopefully it's something they're interested in. And let's say that you had a podcast page. You said, hey, click here to visit our podcast page. You may not add them to a list 
or perhaps you would, but you could also put in a tag, let's say profile, that just gives you some background information. You say profile dash interest in podcast. So it could be that simple. Let's come back over here now. And so we've got nothing here. I want to refresh this contact. And now you can see it's added it to the test list. And then we've got, apparently I clicked the wrong tag that I thought, but uh, we've got a tag that was added here. It's that simple. You can add information, you can remove information. And it's a good way to build a profile on your users or get them started on an automation. So a lot of automations will start when you add them to a list or you add them to a tag and the automation will listen for that. So you may send them a sequence of emails based upon having clicked that link. You may just build profile information. You can do whatever it is that you want to do, but it's a good way to get information so you can segment and define the interests of your customer. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're looking for more information on Fluent CRM, we've got a few videos here already and click the little bell notification icon so that you'll be notified the next time I put a video out. I do have other videos that I've put out and more coming for things for small businesses and entrepreneurs that I hope will help you understand the technology that can help you expand and drive your business. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll see you again in the next video.